Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have the awesome Primaris side of Shadow Spear with all the Vanguard units in Phobos armor. It's really, really cool. Cannot wait to show you guys these models in more detail. We're back in a second. So first up, let's have a look at the three awesome characters that come in Shadow Spear on the Primaris Vanguard side. We've got obviously a captain, a librarian, and also a lieutenant. So without further ado, let's start with a lieutenant and work our way up the command structure. Uh, lieutenant, awesome model, uh, has great, great pose. Looks like he's just swung with a knife and he's bringing the bolter to bear. All the lenses and everything there, as you can see, loads of detail. The pipes, the chevrons on those. You've got the script on the uh, on the sort of little tabard banner bit on his pad. Uh, extra knives just in case you run out of knives. Uh, Purity seals, a little script on them as well. You've got the extra lenses on the side of his head, on top of the gun. Uh, uh, you've got loads of little bits and bobs, even his little bit of ornamentation, the uh, the tassel bit is a dagger as well. He's just carrying loads of knives. Uh, again, you can see there oh, the purity seal all picked out and you've got this, the transfers that we added, but the edging consistent and crisp across the whole entire area of the model. Uh, and this is obviously just our above tabletop standard on him. Um, really, really cool model. Uh, so that's just the lieutenant. Next, let's have a look at probably my favourite model in the Shadow Spear box, which is the Librarian. Uh, do really like him a lot. Uh, like the way he's uh, swung swung with the sword and then he's just like using his psychic power, which is really cool. You've got the keys are also following the motion of the arm swing as well, which I think is a really nice uh, dynamic to the pose. Uh, they've really thought about how these models are moving as well, which I think is a great thing. Uh, you've got the, uh, the sort of tabard and cape there, all with the camouflage as you'd expect on him. Uh, all the pipes there sort of highlighted with a couple of colours as well, just to make the ribbon stand out. You've got the purity seals as well, all the text finite text on there and you've got this lovely blended force weapon and one of the things I really like about um, the way that Games Workshop have been working with a lot of the new sculpts is that the old sort of details from the metal models and the very classic sort of second edition sort of librarians the sort of filigree sort of node bit on the sword they've kept that and I really really like that at all so a big big sort of tip of the hat to the guys at Games Workshop for that uh, you've got that lovely blended sword there as you can see and the the eyes on him as well if I can just get it to focus they are glowing as well and he's done some really cool glowing effect on the eyes on him uh, and the leather that's all gloves that he's got. I've got a nice bit of wear on them as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just the librarian. Um, and then we'll have a look at the captain, the main man himself. Again, a really cool commanding, dominating pose with his little friend here with a little screen, uh, just with all those finalities and details put on there as well. So that's just him. We'll rotate him around. He's also got a big knife, just so you know, the knives seem to be everywhere in this uh, in this um, force. You've got his, his cloak as well there, as you can see with all the camouflage on it and some extra sort of, uh, sort of, uh, antennas and things on his backpack to match the rest of the uh, Vanguard brains. His lens as well on his face all picked out with the point of light source and multiple blends on the lens. And you've got a lovely, lovely uh, Black Legion helmet on his base as well, just to show someone that he's uh, dispatched earlier during the day. Uh, so that's just him. Really cool model. I love the split casing on the gun, the black and red. I think it complements really nicely uh, and a nice bit of sort of tonal variance to the overall palette on the model. Uh, but really cool commanding pose. And there are the three characters from this awesome, awesome starter box. Uh, do hope you like them. Next up we're going to be having a look at all the Vanguard Marines, the Suppressors and also the Eliminators. They are coming up next. So stick around. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, let's have a look at all of the Vanguard uh, normal Primaris Marines from the Shadow Spear set. Really cool models, obviously various different types. So let's dive in and have a look. Um, we'll start with the Vanguard Marines. Let's pick uh, the Sergeant to start off with. One of the really, really cool models here, as you can see. He's uh, obviously using his wrist-mounted uh, sort of analytics thing to look at there. You've got a nice tracker that's been uh, sort of painted on there by Amy. Really, really cool detail with some blips and things. All the buttons are picked out. Uh, I love the way he's twisting the wrist with the gun as well, just to you know emphasize the action of looking at that panel. Uh, you've got a stowed uh, bolt gun there. I love the fact that the bolt guns do they sort of nod back to the um, previous uh, sort of style of bolt gun. They've got more lenses and scopes and things on them, which is really cool. And you can see those. Those lenses are all picked out and painted with point of light source and everything on there as well. As you can see, all the grenades and everything picked out. His facial details, eyes and everything all highlighted. Lovely scar on his face as well. And then obviously on the backpack, you've got the uh, the antennae all picked out with the lights and things as well. All the edging, really crisp and sharp as well, which is really nice. And uh, I like the fact that the uh, comms unit is distinguished in a lovely red as well, just to complement the, uh, the the pad trims and the bolt gun casings. And you've got some transfers on there as well that we've been added on. Uh, so that's just Sergeant. 
now work our way through. You've got the uh, Medicaid uh, dude as well with his uh, sort of apothecary Medicaid. I can't remember the full name, but if you do know it, chuck a comment below so I can remember it. Um, obviously, you've got bubbles and things there in the vials. You've got a blip monitor there as well, which is really cool. Um, and a little Nathesium thing as well, which is cool. The purity seals with the text and everything written on them. Lenses have got the point of light source and multiple blend highlighting on them as well. And you can see all the lenses there as well. Uh, love the twist on the Volt gun as he's, uh, as he's just doing something to it as well, which is really cool. Again, awesome, awesome models, the Vanguard. Um, probably one of my favorite Primaris units, if I'm honest, uh, just after Intercessors. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll work our way through. Now, obviously, there's quite a few of the same sort of uh, sculpts in, in this unit. It's a, yeah, obviously a starter set, but they do not disappoint. They are really, really, really cool. And then you can see all the lenses there all picked out on the Volt gun, which is really nice. Crisp highlighting throughout on all the armor panels, uh, edging on the pad trims and all those areas. Uh, and you can see those lenses there all picked out with a point of light source, which is really nice. Uh, got a guy shooting one of the pistols, uh, sorry, one of the rifles here, as you can see. There's also dudes that have got the pistols drawn, but I'll show you those in a second. You've got the lenses there on the gun. You've got every single little battle dial and everything all picked out and highlighted, all the script on the purity seals, grenades all picked out as well. Uh, and again, the same lights and things on the backpack. Really cool model. I like the way that he's bracing and firing, which is lovely. Uh, and then same again with this dude. It's the same as one of the guys previously. You can see here again, he's just moving forward with the bolt gun sort of uh, knots uh, drawn. Uh, and we move jump across the other squad. Here's the dude I was trying to mention. He's got the bolt gun sword and the pistol drawn, which is really cool. Uh, again, you can see the same attention to detail throughout on these. Really, really, really cool models. Uh, so it's just, and there's just, uh, three of them in this unit here, just because obviously it's a multi, multi pose. Uh, you've got obviously another one with a bolt gun there. Obviously, all the lenses there you can see picked out, which is really, really cool. Uh, another one with a pistol, so you can have a look at him. Same again, but again, the consistency from model to model, just so you can see how uh, how one model matches. You can place this model in this unit, and it would, you know, there'd be no discrepancies in consistency. Uh, so there's him. Uh, Let's have a look at the guy chucking the grenade. I think it's really cool. I was just sort of like casually just dropping that grenade. It's really cool. And the smoke has been done in a lovely manner as well. Uh, and he's done a stellar job on this. And again, moving around, you can see all the edging done on these models. Uh, just an above tabletop level uh, here at Siege. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll have a look at the sergeant or second in command if you make it a 10 man squad here. Again, I like the way he's like tuning into his, uh, into his uh, radio mic there, as you can see. Uh, purity seal with all the text on it, all the lenses on the guns, all the bolters drilled, and uh, all the lights and everything highlighted and picked out with all the edging as well. So that's just him. Really, really cool. And then we're going to move back and have a look at the eliminators and the suppressors. So, two awesome units. Uh, we'll look at the eliminators first of all. I absolutely love these snipers, I think they're brilliant. Uh, really Really, really cool as you can see here with the goggles and everything all the lenses and picked out you got the uh, wrist sort of screen as well done there uh, and you've got this lovely subtle camouflage on the cape as well which is really cool the red casings on the guns and I love the, the split on the black red casing I think it's really nice uh, you've got that purity seal there picked out uh, so again that's just one of the eliminators uh, let's leave the sergeant till last I do like this guy he's always got a hood up as well with his goggles on uh, which is really cool uh, lovely lovely models they're just really really cool in overall dynamic and pose uh, they look pretty savage as well and then let's have a look at mr sergeant uh, with his binoculars and i love the blend on the uh, binoculars as well and we spent a lot of time getting that lovely and, and smooth you've got the little clips of light catching the edges of that glass you've got the goggles on as well and again his like, rifle is a little bit stowed but all the areas of detail are edged and picked out which is really cool so this is a sergeant you can see obviously the cape with all the camo on the back so that's just him. And then let's have a look at the um, suppressors. Uh, now they've not been mounted on their flight stands and personally I think they look a lot better uh, like this, uh, which is really cool. Obviously you've got the accelerator auto cannons here, every edge highlighted there uh, with the ammo feed all picked down and, and highlighted as well. You've got the um, purity seals done on him as well with script uh, and all the buttons and lights and everything uh, also picked out as well, which is really sharp and clean. Uh, then we'll have a look at the other one that's uh, Again, not on the flight stand. I think they're much better like this. You've got all the lenses there in the helmet picked out uh, with a point of light source. Full edge highlighting throughout on every aspect of the armor in a really clean fashion. Uh, and that's just the second guy. And then let's have a look at the sergeant from that squad. Again, he's got a little bit more detail on him just because he's a sergeant, a couple more lenses, and obviously you've got Chevron power cord there on the uh, on the gun. Uh, again, just every, every aspect of detail painted. Uh, no expense, expense has been spared. We really go to town on them, uh, you know, on our above tabletop level. Uh, so that's just uh, that's just him. And you've got transfers as well. All the eyes and everything done, just so you can see uh, on there as well. And all that edging done in a lovely, clean fashion. So that's just a sergeant from those guys. Uh, I do hope you like it, guys. We're back in a second to have a look at the force again in a whole. So stick around. It's coming up next.
So thanks for watching the video guys, really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you've liked the Primaris Vanguard side of Shadow Spear. The models are awesome and uh, I know Amy really enjoyed working on them. Uh, if you are interested in a commission with us, be it Shadow Spear, an army, a character, or maybe a small force, then all you need to do really simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form on our website. Go to that contact form, select the drop-in options that are relevant for your project based on your models, which you're supplying them, if we're supplying them, etc., uh, and all the painting levels and bits and bobs that are on there. In the message section, put a list of models in our format, which is listed on how to lay that out on the website, on that contact form, and then fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Uh, also, in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media. I do recommend you go and follow us and like us both on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, respectively, just so you can keep up to date with everything that's happening here at Siege, all our courses, all the commissions we do, and lots of different events that we uh, attend and do across the year. Um, it's a good place to keep up to date with that. Finally, while you're here on YouTube, uh, if you can do us a couple of things really quickly, give the video a thumbs up because we really appreciate it and it's good to see you guys have watched it and get your feedback on it. Also as well, subscribe because then that way you can keep up to date with all the videos that get uploaded onto our YouTube channel and see all the new projects that are happening. If you do click the bell icon, you will get notified of it when the uploads go up basically. So if you can do that, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and finally, thanks for watching the video guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Look after yourselves. Take care.